Hi everybody and welcome in on a Tuesday, July the 3rd. Hope you're making plans for a great, big, happy, safe holiday coming up tomorrow as we celebrate the 4th of July. I-75 Lane in Campbell County is going to be closed tomorrow. Dry weather prompts state fire marshal to issue warnings on firework displays. La Folla City Council meets this evening and we'll have these stories and more coming up on our news at 5.30. The Tennessee Department of Transportation wants travelers to remember that one southbound lane on Interstate 75 remains closed. Since March 8th, the interstate near Stinking Creek Road has been under construction to repair a slide. On May 7th, another slide in a slide occurred causing more problems for travelers. Because of the holiday, traffic has been noticeably slower and even backed up. TDOT spokesman Mark Nagai says people need to plan ahead. Detours are in place for wide loads and other traffic in the area. In Tennessee, travelers can dial 511 to access valuable information about travel conditions. State Fire Marshal Julie Mix McPeak encourages Tennesseans to maximize their fire safety this July 4th by opting to attend organized fireworks displays presented by trained professionals. Counties and most cities have their own ordinances and restrictions regarding firework use. So it's important to first check with your local police station or fire department to determine the local law before setting off fireworks. Think safety. If fireworks are legal where you live and you decide to set them off, be sure to follow a few important safety tips. Never allow children to handle or ignite fireworks. Wear eye protection. Make sure everyone is out of range before setting off the fireworks and keep a bucket of water and a garden hose nearby. The state fire marshal also urges citizens to refrain from debris burning and to take precautions in any activity that could spark wildfire because of the dry conditions in our area. La Follette will not have fireworks for this 4th of July, but Lake City will. Every year, the town of Lake City has the big 4th of July celebration all day long. It begins at 10 in the morning and ends at 10 tomorrow night when the fireworks start. There's booths, games, and fun for everybody all day long, and they will shoot the fireworks tomorrow night at 10 o'clock at the ball field in Lake City. La Follette City Council meets in its regular monthly session this evening. On the agenda are items to approve the audit contract with Pew and Company, approve a speed limit reduction on West First Street, and also on tonight's agenda are the termination of two public works employees and the establishing of guidelines for dogs in city parks. No more thunder at Caraval. The firemen dubbed the big dragon, George, when they battled last May's fire that destroyed Thunder Mountain fireworks. Today, George, the legendary exit 134 icon, stands alone as the lot where the fireworks store once stood is empty. Thunder Mountain owner Lanston Hill tells WLAF that he sold the lot and George. TCAP results have improved all across Tennessee and students statewide have showed improved average test scores in 23 of 24 categories. Here in Campbell County, TCAP scores are looking good. 
the state is holding individual county scores until July 16th. For those of us who use Hunter's Branch Road as a shortcut, Road Superintendent Dennis Potter tells WLAF that Hunter's Branch Road is open. The major construction work is done. Now all that is lacking is the guardrails and the striping. And the La Follette Public Library will be closed beginning the week of July 9th in order to move into the new library building. The grand opening of the new building will be Wednesday, July 25th. Library operation will resume in the new location on Thursday, July 26th. Library Director Nancy Green says if you have any library materials due during this time, you may return them to the book returns at the old library building. And that's our news for this Tuesday. We'll take a look at the press release from the Sheriff's Department coming up. And it's time now to take a look at the press release from the Sheriff's Department. Eight people have been booked into the Campbell County Jail in the past 24 hours. James Joshua Allen, age 25, of West Central Avenue, La Follette, for violation of probation. 39-year-old Robert Stephen Bullock, Jr., of Beach Grove Lane in Lake City, for violation of the light law violation of the Tennessee financial law and driving while suspended. Adam Coy Carroll, age 30, of Mill Road, La Follette, for DUI, violation of the Tennessee financial law, violation of the light law, and driving left of the center line. 30-year-old Angela Nicole Cole of Sugar Hollow Road, La Follette, for domestic assault. Larry Dean Irvin, age 50 of Country Way Drive, La Follette, for rape, incest, and sexual battery. 65-year-old Lonnie W. Justice of Broad Street, Jellicoe, for failure to maintain control of a vehicle. Beecher D. Sparks, 51, of Pleasant Ridge Road, La Follette, for domestic assault and public intoxication. And last today, 39-year-old Brian Scott Ward of Knoxville on a capious bench warrant. And that's our news for this Tuesday evening. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to stay around. We'll keep you informed with any news and information and weather that you might need to know about. So don't go away and join us tomorrow for the 4th of July news. <coughs> ah. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got that done. Got that done. Let's blow it. I'll get it.